Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Hi. I'm Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Hi, guys. I'm Eric. Hey, I'm Robin. Wanderboom here. We, Just uh, having a hike. Another one of our awesome hikes we've discovered here in uh, the vicinity of where we've been staying. But uh, yeah, we've been showing off and showcasing a bunch of our awesome housemates. And uh, we got a few more to share with you. Yeah, we don't want to leave anybody out. So we want to introduce you. You've already been introduced to Jesse a little bit, but we have more to talk about Jesse. And we're trying not to swallow bugs as we're going along here. Huh? Anyway. Well, which I just did. Um, yeah, we, we, we just want you to get to know these great people that we've been hanging out with for all this time a little bit better. So here you go. What's your beard? Where'd it go? I threw it out in the trees for some birds. Uh, it looks yeah. good. It looks really good. Looks real good with a little short beard. Yeah, he does. Hopefully he has something in a little baby thing. Uh, today we're going to take a look at what I do to make a little extra money. Yeah. What do you call it exactly? Uh, it's saw piercing. Saw piercing. Yeah. Because everything is done with this mighty weapon right here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, this is a jewelry saw. You can get the frame at most hardware stores. Blades you definitely want to order online. <laughs> yeah, very specific, obviously, yeah, for, uh... for... The work we're doing here requires a very fine blade. There's a couple of things that I've done already. Oh, cool. And we're going to make another two-piece puzzle necklace. Wow, that's awesome. So again, explain this little clamp here. The clamp uh, is a wooden dowel padded with leather, and then the mechanism is just a quick release for a bicycle. <laughs> oh, cool. Just, so, just a quick latch yeah. and locks it right yep. on there. And, and really locks it in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Because you're going to be sawing on that thing. Yep. And then I was... So is that like you kind of get a pattern that you're... Yeah, doing? I'd like to draw a design, especially if I'm uh, doing something original. If I'm cutting out the image on the coin already, then it's already there. I don't have to worry about it. Right. So. And what was the... Uh, you were telling us about the rule about coins, because uh, I was thought you oh. it's illegal or something or blah, no, blah, blah. You know, it's to... not illegal as long as you are not altering them to for personal gain like you can't change one coin into another right right so uh, like counterfeiting it or doing whatever. this you're taking away the monetary value and the price that you're getting from it is from the work you're doing right and if you want to look it up it's title 18 section 331 of the u.s <laughs> penal code uh, <laughs> just to be uh, just, just to be cool exactly. or, uh, so yep wow. it's perfectly cool to do this yeah that's like george washington yeah those are some of the dollar coins oh, wow. uh, so okay. things you want to have. Try to keep the... A dead yeah. finger? Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like that now after the mouse chewed on it. <laughs> oh, um, really? Yeah. <laughs> but this is a beeswax candle. It helps with lubricating the blade. Because uh, when you're making those sharp turns... Oh, yeah. Just like you definitely way. want so that. that fine little blade, yeah. And it probably snap pretty easy. A little yeah. brush. Because once the wax get up, gets on there, uh, the metal debris doesn't want to just blow off the coin. So, you just get started. I like to line it up along my finger for the first entry there. And then once you get in it a little ways, that's when you want to wax. Wow, God, that was quick. And, oh, it'll get quicker. <laughs> well, that's moving right through. Yeah, wow. Like butter. Yeah. Well, it is not this fast when you first learn. Yeah, I bet. Um, I remember... Because you're a master. Yeah. Well, I did it for seven years traveling with the Renaissance Fair. So where would you be right now had, it, had the pandemic not been? I would be in Colorado. At the Colorado Renaissance Fair? Yep. Doing henna stuff? No, I work at the silk booth there. Oh, okay. For Star and Kim. Yeah, for Star and Kim, yeah. Yep. So just brush that off so you can see your design. Oh my gosh, and you're amazing. When you start doing anything, 
in the beginning, you always want to be cutting straight away from yourself. Right. It'll give you the cleanest lines. But you've learned yeah. since you are a master. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Professional. Like a little, like a Look at that. He's doing, kind of, yeah. You're doing yeah. jigsaw puzzle shapes with yep. that. That is freaking cool. Wow. That's the nice thing about the rounded clamp is it does give you the most uh, ability oh, oh, for of, different yeah, positioning. In there. Quick release, yeah, you can keep tweaking it to work. Whenever you make a turn, you want to uh, go real fast oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and yeah, do a little shorter or... stroke. And then when you're doing the, the long haul straightaways, you, yeah, can, you can do a lot faster. Once you get the hang of it, it can be even therapeutic. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah. Is that like a little diamond blade or something? No, or? it's just a regular steel blade. Wow. Um, but it's a jewelry blade. Yeah. Uh, they're from uh, CR Hill Company. Uh, you can look them up online. Because of the easy ability to adapt the clamp to most any table, I've taken this out to the lake and have done it on a picnic table. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Well, this clamp definitely does make it so that the work can go faster. Otherwise, there are ways to do it where you can um, just have like a piece of wood that sticks off the table and it's got a V cut into it and you're actually holding the coin oh, wow, that's you with your other fingers. Finger clamps, huh? Yeah, that's, uh, um, that's gotta be a lot tougher. Yeah. Definitely can't get the accuracy quite as well. It's a lot more slow going. Yeah. And when you cut as fast as I do, the coin does get hot. Yeah, it does. You don't want to grab it at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. but, uh... Uh, I mean, it's not going to burn you, yeah. but it's definitely not comfortable. <laughs> We're through. Ta da! Oh, super cool! <laughs> so, and doing them by hand, you know, it's guaranteed nice. they're not yeah. gonna match up to other ones. Yep. That is awesome. So. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. So you then you just probably just clean up the edges a tiny bit, kind of clean it yeah. all up, and boom, you're done. They'll go through a tumbler. Um, I prefer steel shot to tumble them with, and polishes them up nicely. Uh huh. Nice. And uh, just put them in there. You can use even just a little bit of dish detergent. You want some kind of soap in there for a lubricant. Yeah. Yeah. And so what is that done when you're tumbling? It just smooths them? Smooths out them. the edges a little bit, cleans them up. Um, and some of the other ones too. 
So where can uh, where can people find these from you? Yeah. Well, currently I do not have anything set up. Um, I'm going to be posting things on Facebook soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Through that uh, uh, the Renaissance Fair one, or just through just on, your own? on my uh, own page. Okay. Cool. Yeah. cool. And plus, Jesse, you've been. I mean, you work. This man works all the time. If he's not <laughs> doing this, he's working doing the cornhole assembly <laughs> these building or you're the working garden, it, or you're yes. building the garden yeah. or you're yeah. over at helping neighbors with their stuff yeah. i mean you're just an amazing man about town <laughs> <laughs> or about about our little town right that we have yeah here. i definitely get around <laughs> <laughs> even in the pandemic <laughs> but yeah cool. it's not a day's work unless you're sore yeah <laughs> that's not my motto but okay <laughs> so what do you do with the it? my blood <laughs> it's the midwest hard working ethic <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. We love them. It's awesome. One of a kind.